Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinions. So don't. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 24 of the goalkeeper career mode, and it's Champions League time. As you can see down here from the table, we sit top on six points, maximum wins, two out of two. Haven't conceded a goal yet. And we play Roma today, who sit in second. They've won one, draw one. And I think they're our, our biggest problem in this group will be Roma. Uh, so a good result today could um, could go a long way in getting us into the knockout rounds of the Champions League. So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into this game and uh, and hopefully get an important three points. Here we go. Champions League action. Manchester City against Roma at the Etihad. Starting lineup for Manchester City, Sean Measures in goal, Carl Walker full back, Rodriguez on the left, company on Otamendi defensive, uh, pairing Fernandinho, Holden, Saul and De Bruyne, Sane and Sterling out wide, and Aguero up top on his own. And now the Roma lineup, the Brazilian Alisson in goal, full backs for Roma, the ex Manchester City man, Kolarov and Karzorp. Fazio and Manolas in central defence. De Rossi holding Nangalan and Gonalons with Malcolm and Perotti out wide with Schick up top. Malcolm down this right hand side plays a lovely little ball and Schick is in. What's Schick going to do? He's squared it. He's got to be offside, surely. Thank God for that. I didn't even see the player coming around the back. That all seemed a little bit strange. That move. Thank God it was given as offside. That was tighter than I thought as well. I thought that was a clear offside. Turning, looking for a pass, finds Nangalan. Tries to beat Fernandinho, just about does. Perotti twisting and turning. And we're going to come and claim that. And um, it's uh, it's been all Roma so far. He's been playing some good football. De Bruyne. A little bit of space to run into. Finds Sterling down this right-hand side. Gives it back to De Bruyne. Finds Saul. De Bruyne into Aguero. Tries to find Sterling. Does. Sterling shoots. And it's an easy save for Allison. Corner kick to Man City. Gone Alonso. Back to De Rossi. He's got a runner here. This looks like half decent defending. But Schick is going to get through. And that needs to be cleared. Need to find a way to break these down. And with passing like that, we're not going to. Malcolm finds the feet of the striker. Schick into Daniel De Rossi. Roma with possession yet again. And they don't seem to be squandering their possession as, as much as we are. Nangalan finds Schick. Schick shoots. It's come off the post. And that's going to be a goal. It's 1-0 Roma right on the stroke of half time. It wasn't the best goalkeeping for me. But to be fair, that has been coming. Roma have been brilliant today and we have been really, really poor. Their passing has been crisp and slick. And uh, and I almost couldn't believe my eyes when he was through there. I thought there was a touch of offside. We came out, tried to get there, but unfortunately it's come back off the post, right back into his path. And it's an easy finish, even though he could have easily put that over, only just underneath the bar. 1-0 Roma just before half time. Can't be long left in this first half. Two minutes at a time. And there's the half-time whistle. Really disappointing half from Man City. And uh, and this is a bit of a shock so far, Rob. We haven't come up against many teams that have been able to out outplay us. But Roma have so far. They've had one disallowed goal from offside. And they've scored one. Really good performance from Roma so far. Nangalan tackled well by Seoul. Sane tries to give it back to Seoul, but another poor pass from Manchester City. <coughs> oh, bless me. De Bruyne into the feet of Aguero. Seoul finds Sterling on this right-hand side. He needs to start doing something. He's been poor. He was tackled there again, I'm sure he was, but Fernandinho picks up the pieces. De Bruyne out to Sterling. Into Aguero. Surely he'll find De Bruyne. Does. 
What's De Bruyne going to do? Find Sterling. I bet he shoots and I bet it's awful. And it's exactly that. But we've got a corner. De Bruyne to take. Can we get ahead on this? Saul gets there at the near post, but it's tame. Mangalan with a decent bit of possession there into the feet of Strootman. Malcolm out wide. Cross comes in. Oh, oh my God, I thought we were going to come and gather that. This has not been our best game at all. Thomas Lamar's going to come on for Sane. Sane hasn't been good so far. And uh, Ezequiel Ponce is going to come on for the goal scorer. Schick. Corner comes in. That should be easy. It's not. It, what's happening here? Oh, God. We gathered it just about. So, pushes one out to Walker. Gets it straight back. Sterling, good little turn in there. He's beaten his man. This is now a chance. Sterling, he's turned. He's passed it to Gundogan, and Gundogan's shot gets blocked. And now possibly a chance for Roma to come away on the attack here. It's Malcolm down this right-hand side, showing good pace. He looks like he's got the better of the left-back. He gets the cross in. That's got to be easy for Walker. It is. Heads it clear. Straight back into Nangalan, though. Strootman heads on. And that's an easy gather for the goalkeeper. Aguero. Pushes one out wide to Walker. Tries to clip one over the top to Sterling. It's poor, unimaginative. And that's how we've been all day so far. Manolas. Lashes one forward to Malcolm. But it's won by the fullback. De Bruyne picks it up now. Tries to find the man on this left-hand side, Thomas Lamar. We haven't seen much of him since he's joined. Lays it back to the fullback. It's blocked by Strootman, but we've still got the ball. Go on, Rodriguez. Do something. He finds Aguero. Aguero's looking for options. Finds De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Back to Aguero's feet. We're not getting anywhere with this. Saul! Saul gets the equaliser in the 77th minute. As long as we don't lose this game, then um, then we'll be okay. We don't want Roma pushing ahead of us in this uh, in this group. One all, a really good strike. Nice bit of patient build up, and the passing was good for once. It's exactly what we needed, and I'm glad we've uh, we've managed to break our duck in this game. Aguero on the edge, twisted and turning, found the option of Saul, who lost his man. Left foot strike, a cross goal, finds the top corner, beats the goalkeeper. Great strike. Saul now coming forward for Man City, rides the tackle well. Aguero, he's got options out wide and he's chose neither of them, a really bad ball. Manolas with a really poor pass, Thomas Lamar picks it up, finds Sterling, crosses the ball in, far post to Bruyne. Good save from Allison. it was on his left foot but a bit of a sitter in my opinion. Lorenzo Pellegrini to come on now for Nangalan. Corner to Manchester City. This is Lamar, I think, to put this in the box. It is. He finds company at the near post. And that's 2-1. Somehow Manchester City, with a really bad performance, have managed to turn this game around. And Captain Fantastic rises with a brilliant header. Maybe the goalkeeper should have had it from the angle I saw it at. But let's have another little look. See if he should have done better. It's a near post free header. It's kind of looped over him. I don't know. You've got to blame a little bit the goalkeeper, a little bit the defending there maybe. But it doesn't matter. It looks like Manchester City could be getting all three points today in a big, big Champions League tie. Three minutes at a time. Free kick to Roma. Malcolm swings one in. The ball was with Manolas. Oh, it was... A good effort. It looked like it was going in the corner. Oh, I don't believe it. Late drama. A late equaliser. The ball was flashed across the box. Didn't read it well enough to get across in time. I kind of expected him to beat his man and shoot. But he shot and we've just stuck a leg out rather than diving. I think we'd have done very well to save that though. 2-2. Two -two. It's been a great game. Such a shame to lose the three points in the last minute, though. Last few seconds of the game. 
And there it is. It ends 2-2. Two, two. Little bit downbeat by the fact that we ended up drawing the game. But when you look at it, we were 1-0 down with, what, 10, 15 minutes to go. We managed to go 2-1 up. I thought we'd won it. And then Roma have come back brilliantly to, to claim a point. Roma played really, really well today. I was really impressed by them. Every ball they put into the box was just dangerous. Really, really dangerous. So there we go. Match rating of 7.3. We conceded two goals. That doesn't happen too often. We caught three shots. Ball stripped one. 100% passing. Not the worst game we've ever played, but I just feel we should have done a little bit more for the goals. We felt a little bit shaky today. So there we go. Game done. This is how Group D stands. Manchester City still top on seven points. Roma second on five points. And Leon, who got their win against Anderlecht uh, in the last game, they are on four points. So the group is now pretty open. Uh, we could have really done with winning that game. But it's not the end of the world. I think we should be able to get maximum points against Leon and Anderlecht and uh, do enough to get us through into the knockout stages. Okay, so that's going to be it for the video today. Uh, but just to let you know when we're going to come back, we are going to come back for the next game, which is Premier League action against Liverpool at Anfield. It's not going to be an easy game at all, but we're going to, that's the game we're going to play. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, leave the video a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, and I'll do my best to bring you daily football content. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.